The castle join method is a very effective method to use when joining all your pieces of wood together. But sometimes it's not really a good idea to use this because you want to keep it nice and clean when you're joining wood together. And today I've had to do a rabbit feeder that was based off a dog feeder. And I thought, let's not use castle joint, let's try something out, something new. Now that the design is done, I'm going to load it into my program and I'll make sure that all my items here are set to cut. And the settings I'm going to be using is 75% power with a 30% speed. The design that I had to do was based off a dog feeder's design. So basically the method here is just to piece together this by making sure that if you pour food in the top that it's not going to pour out all of it at the bottom. So in order to do this we have to have a slant in our design and making sure that the area at the bottom from where the food falls is a very much smaller area from where you poured in the food. To make sure that it's a constant feed through when they eat something some more drops through. And we're also going to make it a very small area for them to grab the food so that they don't sit in their food or vice versa as per the customer's request. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes, little ones, um, to make sure that it is the size of a toothpick. And what we're going to end up doing is putting the toothpick through this hole and we're going to drill an opposite hole here for this to go there. And we're going to drill a hole there so we can slide in the toothpick. Now this will allow you to not use the castle join method but have a flush look so that you don't have that up and down and it looks a bit more professional. We're still going to use a bit of wood glue but our main concentration here is making sure that we drill the holes straight and we're going to tap these in and then cut them off with side cutters and then trim them afterwards with a knife so that it is nice and flush and all you see is a little circle rather than the castle joint method. So let's do it. Make sure that you have your drilling machine at a high speed otherwise you end up splitting the wood when you're pushing through. Now that I've drilled through all the way, I can now take my side piece here and we're going to just line up exactly where we need it. So let's put this here. We're going to go through the previous hole that we've just drilled now and just by holding this nice and steady you want to make sure it's all nice and flat so that it lines up. Now that I've marked that position through the previous hole, so now I can drill. You know, make sure that you don't go too far in because only when you're using a small piece of this toothpick, not the whole piece, otherwise we're wasting. We just want to make sure that we have some of this inside just to hold it together with the wood glue. Now, you can do this all by yourself, but it is probably better to have someone holding all these pieces together for you while you're drilling so that you don't go skew I've already done the test by myself and I went skew and it doesn't look so nice. So let's rather just do this properly. I'm going to put the first toothpick in just to hold it into place where I want it. So we're just going to stick that in there and then we can drill the next one. Okay, mark that hole. We're going to just rotate this. Okay, now we can take this apart and then drill the hole separately.
Okay, now that that's done, we can now piece this together. You want to make sure that you don't use the very, very tip of this because it is a lot smaller in, in the shape being pointy than the hole that we've just drilled. It's not going to hold everything together. So my recommendation is that you're going to cut it around about there so that it actually holds together being the same thickness when you're shoving it through the hole so that it actually holds the two pieces of wood together instead of using the sharp point where it's going to be loose inside the one side and it's not going to serve you any justice being served that way. As you can see there, it's actually held it quite nicely. There's no glue involved here yet. We still need to put. I'm going to remove these, mark where I need to. I'm going to cut so they don't have too much sticking out. And then we're going to lay down our glue and then put these back in. So now we're going to, either you can generously put your glue or you can put a light amount. I'm still going to generously put like I normally do, even if you do castle join or not. These toothpicks are there just to hold it in place so that the glue sets quite nicely and the toothpicks are going to keep it straight. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and then spread it out nicely. And keep in mind that wood glue is always going to set clear so you won't really see this wood glue unless you're going to do a paint over it. So now we've put our wood glue and what I'm going to do is now take my excess and I'm going to put it on those small pieces of toothpick as well. I want to make sure that I get glue inside these holes. Okay, now that we've put the, our wood glue and we've now slotted back in, I'm going to pull my finger across everywhere that I see some excess glue. Cool. Now that we've done that, I'm going to turn this over to make sure that our toothpicks are not sticking out anyway. And if you find that they do, again, we're just going to cut that off with the Stanley knife. I'm going to make sure to push it nice and hard. So there, we've got a piece sticking out here. So all I'm going to do now is take my Stanley knife and just simply cut off. So now we've got a nice smooth finish there and as I said all you see is these little round circles and that's that and now we repeat the process for the rest of the, the job.
The castle method is very effective, but in this case, if you want a very nice smooth finish, the method that we just did now comes out really well. And here is our rabbit feeder complete. As in our design, we made sure that we had a very small area that the rabbits can take their food so they don't have to sit in the actual food as per our customer's request. And as you can see, without going into great detail, without having that castle drain, this looks like a really nice solid finish. And the everything just pieced together well. Our slant came out nicely. It just is holding quite well together. I'm very impressed and I think the customer is going to love this. It's exactly how the dog feeder looked. And I really hope that she enjoys it. Bear in mind that the glue is still drying, but just have a look at those crisp joints without that castle joint. It really has a nice smooth edge. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Plobosili Kumalo, a level 6 local guide who has 64 reviews all over the country says, the tech support team is on point. I had an issue with my machine. I called them and they said I must bring it in. The person who helped me checked everything and made sure everything was 100%. Kind staff members helped me load my machine in and out of my car. This was just one of the many appreciative reviews we have received. These tags mean a lot to us. Thank you so much for your support. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. Level 7 reviewer Dash Somalu, who has 119 reviews on Google, says, Great company, great products, and very well-priced items. The training we received from Messias Chunga was top-notch. He was very knowledgeable and knows his stuff. Another satisfied customer amongst many. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.